We're gonna try some some B-side hazel. I'm excited about it. And I'm gonna stick with we're gonna stick with the lower mutation stages for now. Hey RC! You've won all the easy runs so far. Might be addicted to the genre in general. Uh-oh. Trouble. So let's see. So what's what does our deck actually do? Let's make sure we understand this. So fives and sixes become block. Cumulative seven becomes eight damage. And we can put in three to get a five or a six. Ooh, okay, so we're like big numbers are going to be our thing. Turn one, gain a power. Seems pretty good. Roll sapling ones and twos. I really like the saplings last time we had them. The sapling dice are good because they're going to give us that little bit of extra oomph. So I'm going to go with that, I think. And then pathwise, we want the double elite. I don't think the events are necessarily worth it. So we'll go fight, fight, boop, boop, elite. Yeah, looks good to me. I'd like to see a little more work done on the on the elites, but all right. So when we what we're going to do is when we see threes, we convert them to fives and sixes. We block up, then we do this. And we boulder you. All right, good first turn. So yeah, so in the, in the current setup, I mean, boulder is, boulder is strong. For sure. But this is... I, I'm still trying to see it. Okay, gain a dodge. That'll be potentially useful. So Hurl Monolith is a big boy. Uh, for four, increase the value of all dice or gain two barrier. We could go like insane barrier with Solidify if we wanted to. Hurl Monolith seems a little one-dimensional. Gain two power. So this could be our scaling. But seven is quite expensive. Next turn, all initial dice gain one value. Revitalize with Blessing is kind of interesting. Huh. This is a tough this is a tough choice. Yeah, heal at the sanctuary is the, is the only one I believe. I'm going to go with revitalize. I think that's an interesting one for us. I'm not sure it fits into the archetype. I'm not sure what archetype we're building quite yet. If I'm if I'm being 100% honest. Uh, I think I hate What's going on here? I think we just we just block up and we prep beast within. All right. Well, this did not work out the way that I wanted it to. We can do one of these, one of these. We have enough block, so we should do this. Might as well convert over this and get this ready. We may need to stop it from spawning little dudes, though. Oh, what happened to the blessing? Weren't we supposed to? Oh, I, I didn't. I haven't upgraded this yet. Uh oh, this is a bad. This is a bad time. Uh, 
I'm very nervous here. I think we uh, I think we're gonna take some hits. Probably next turn we'll take some hits, but the the weak is just gonna really mess us up. Yes. I would say we are being messed up at the moment. We don't have enough to get two boulder tosses. Not that they would kill anyways. So, okay, so here's what I think we do. If I put this six in here, then I get a three and a one. And the three I can convert into this. And I think I just do that and I use the potion. Not going great. <laughs> so I guess I used the potion for a total of three value. That wasn't necessarily super great value. Oh yeah, patch for VG3. Anything, uh, it, there's, there's been a lot of talk about the fact that the last major, like, romance update broke some stuff. I didn't turn on any mutations for this one, RC. I'm, I'm still just unlocking stuff, so I haven't been pushing damage too much. Growing Blade, 7 damage, if lethal, permanently increase damage by 1. Oh, well that's potentially our, that's potentially how we're rolling. Yeah, I think we I think we like that. Getting that early in the run. Spring into action is potentially two block. Alright, we're gonna grab Growing Blade. It is a strictly better boulder toss for the time being. Yeah, now we just have to make sure that we utilize it, though, right? So we can kill this guy. So we should do that. So we start with a boulder toss. And then we growing blade. Plus one. All right. I, I like to see everything first. That's my uh, that's my preference, RC. I, I like to know what uh, what's what the haps are. This does eight. Uh, so that wasn't a summon that we killed back here, unfortunately. So, I think uh, we may... The, the jury may still be out on that one. Let's see. So, I think we're going to do... We're just going to... We're just going to block up. And we might as well convert that into something better. So, now hopefully we've set ourselves up so we have the kill this turn. Those dice are not going to help. That's very disappointing. Uh, I think I think the best we can do is block for five. We're going to take four, and then we'll set up the kill next turn. That was a that was a horrifically bad roll for uh, for those that are keeping track at home. But growing blade is growing. 
Natural hardiness. So, so power. Depleted gain two power, or for six gain two power. We I with the with the attack that we have, I'm I'm unsure if we need that. Natural hardiness is turn one fortify. But it's very expensive. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know that power is, is the direction we're going. Gain X block, gain one blessing. Gleaming exterior looks pretty decent. But like natural, I, I kind of want to play with natural hardiness and see how good fortify is. But eight seems really expensive. And we have to use it. We only get fortify on turn one. That's, that's rough. I think we take gleaming exterior. I, I don't think I can make that work. Yeah, I think blessing will be will be strong for us. So I was liking I was liking the idea of uh, adding blessing here too, but this is two x the block. Oh, we only oh we only get one use of gleaming exterior per turn though. I did not realize that. Getting this to a five or a six though, I think is is huge. I don't think we can play Revitalize right now, so I'm going to put Rampart back in. Yes, it, it creates a 1 for us. That's correct in Lustrous. That's that's what I was thinking was. It's a way for us to get more dice. Now, 6s, though, are somewhat problematic, aren't they? So you're hitting for two, three times, you're hitting for six. I think we accept that we're going to take one. Is this guy going to start scaling? He's going to start infecting our cards. I do think he has a scaling mechanic. Do we defend up? Let's try defending up for the moment. Let's let's see how. I think when you block, you shouldn't get infected. That's just me though. Taking exactly 10, so we'll leave it there. The rollover works for the green dice too, so you can increase it to six and get new saplings. Uh I don't think I, I think I tried that before and it didn't generate uh saplings. It, it created a regular die. Which was still good, but Let's see, we need to put one in here for that. But right now we're taking two, four, five, oh wait, two, four, six, seven damage. Ooh. I think I'm going too slow right now. I'm taking 13 damage here. I think we're actually in trouble here. We're getting kind of roasted. Oh, yeah, I re-rolled the sapling. That's what it was. Good call. Uh, yeah, we don't have enough. Huh. 
I think I need to I think I need to play this unfortunately. I I'm worried about this guy. I think he's gonna wreck us. All sixes is kind of a bummer. We're taking three plus we're taking fifteen damage. What a what a difference. Our, the last time we played this hero, we were just absolutely steamrolling. The ones are killing us right now. At least now with this, with this, with a six, we'll be able to potentially get a cup, uh, two hits off. But he's doing eighteen right now. We don't, we don't have enough, right? Because we're gonna, we can do eight, we can do seventeen damage. So I think we put up as much as we can and then do that. Oh yeah, I forgot. He also has the the block thing. This is a brutal fight for us. We gotta get him in one one hit range here. Ow. Ow. Alright, well. This is kinda gotta be it for us. But it is. Yikes, alright. Cultivate might on odd gain block, on even gain power. So we could get we could get block five block from each of these, or return dice with plus two value. Nurture seems quite good. Yeah, I like. We need some we need some more dice manipulation. I think. Gain one power, receive one sap each turn. So less block, more damage. We, we want the, the upgrade here, I think. Maybe we just get an extra slot right now. Let's put that there. Put that there. All right. Little, little concerned about our, our health situation. I don't know if we can take on another elite. So you think nurture works with the sapling? Let's find out. It does. Okay. Cool. 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 Now the sap is going to be a little annoying, but we have the kill on this guy, which is good. Okay. Growing blade is growing. Yeah, return dice, not create. A subtle but critical distinction. Bless for next turn. Is that worth it? 
Probably not. So this is going to increase damage by 50% if we block with it, which is not ideal. So he's going to end up doing 12 damage. I I think we have to we have to tank it. I think, I think that was the right play. Okay, four power is not great for us. We would prefer for that not to happen. Yeah, Nurture was a huge pickup for us. That much is for sure. Now, I don't know if Growing Blade we're going to be able to scale it up fast enough to... Uh, To have it work, we need a we need an engine of defense so that we can afford to chill. The iron skin potion is nice. What does glimmer do? Plus one value to another random spell when when spent. Fixation. Twelve damage if marked. Add rupture. On depleted, gain 8 block. Hmm. Yeah, I, I will check if it does. I, I think I'm going to take Gleaming Mana. None of these look really good. Yeah, maybe we do reroll. We do have some money. That's a good call. Men Magic. Add one charge to a spell. This could be really good. With, uh... Really good with getting extra hits out of our big attack. Gaia's Wrath is a very different play. None of these are defense. I'm going to take Men Magic out of these. I don't think we can put it in quite yet, but... But the bigger question is, do we think we can do the Elite Battle? I'm willing to I'm willing to lose this run. He who dares He who dares dares or something, right? Okay, so let's see. We nurture you. We reroll you, we reroll you. Do we we don't need a bless for next turn. Okay, so right off the bat, he's doing 10. Which is like fairly large hit for us. I let's just I think we just block it. And get our hit in. We can probably do without Beast Within right now. I'm going to use this because this gets us a lot of dice. So, hmm, gets us a lot of dice, but no fives. That was a bit of a, an error. Now, this is going to do when the cast spell is cast. So we can do this, this. Taking no damage. A 
I think I'm going to do a boulder, boulder toss here too. I don't want to... I don't want to fall behind here. Because I think this is like... This is the turn where... Actually, no, we have time. Okay. We have time. When we have the kill too. That's perhaps the more important observation. Gleaming exterior greater than Rampart when talking about a five? Yes, that is correct. Odd. Gain X block, turn one, gain power. That's not it. I'm going to reroll. We need something with some defense. Ooh. Oaken Shelf. On a 10, roll a die. Depleted gain one blessing. I, th I think we take Oaken Shelf. I think it's a that is a good, a good block card. Cast ten spells, deal six damage to all. Oaken is indeed block. We can replace Rampart with Oaken, and we'll feel really good about it. Although we kind of need stuff now. I kind of like the on a 10 roll a die because we have lots of fives and sixes and fours thanks to nurture. So let's, I don't think, I don't think Spirit of Swiftness is all that great. We're not rolling like crazy. So I'm going to do this and we're going to do the 10 on a 10 roll a die. Now we just have to not get killed by this guy. <laughs> I guess and the boss. So that there we're fully defended. That's the magic of this. We can nurture you. Yeah, I'm feeling a little more I'm feeling a little more defended now. The defense is present. Boulder Toss is, is the next thing we need to... Uh, we need to eliminate. For sure. So this was already a six. It did not make a new sapling, right? Did I, did I miss that? Oh, it was a five? Okay. Reroll all the dice. Is Guy's Wrath just better than Toss Boulder? Probably, right? Like the seven, the seven for eight isn't great. We want, I think we want an, an attack to replace that. Now we could go apply two marked to all enemies for six. That doubles the value of, of our killing card. Or any die applies one marked might be even better. Instinct might be better. Ooh, we can daze the thing too. I don't think it goes from a six to a six plus on anyways. We'll we'll have to see. It, it there is that is the way that sixes usually operate, but so stock becomes more marked or we get weak with it. I think stock looks pretty good actually. Now, I want to get this unlocked so we can get Mend Magic, but that's further down the road. I'm going to pay for the big heal. I think we need it. Hopefully, the boss doesn't obliterate us. We're not a, we're not a terribly fast deck right now. Do this for Blessing next turn, I think. 
Yeah, we need to upgrade the blade for plus one use. That's on the that's on the list. Nurture is so good. Okay, so we'll test this on a summon. Yeah. Triggers on killing an enemy without summon. We could have just also read that. Um, it's a lot of damage coming in. How are we taking 20 right now? Am I missing something? I have 15. Okay, yeah, I'm only taking five. Okay. Whew. I was like freaking out there for a second. Now, unfortunately... Well, we could, we could kill one of the summons. We still take one damage then. I think we just do damage here. Is there a better way? If I, I could reroll this six into a five. Maybe this is the play. Cause now we get back one die and we full block and it becomes a five and we get the, we get the hit anyways. That was some big brain right there. Hey, Jerome, welcome. How's it going? Okay, so we don't love that all of our offense is, uh, is getting chomped here, but... Okay, so this will do two damage when the spell is cast. We can, right now we can afford two damage. Sadly... I guess we do this, and then we just do this. We're hitting pretty hard. As you know in Lustrous, reading is for chumps. Let us not besmirch the good name through reading. I kind of feel like we should just kill one of the little guys. Like we gleam. And I think we just nuke one of the little guys just so we're taking a little less damage. Yeah, I'm okay. I'm okay taking a little bit of damage here. Okay, we're taking 10. That's, that's perfect for us. Minus the... Slight awkwardness of us not having a 10. We can, just, we can just do this, I think. That's probably enough. And then let's... We're just going to set up for the, the kill next turn. We're not going to die here. Yeah, we'll, we'll recharge to full and we should be in good shape. Kablamo. All right, we are we are scaling growing blade. I am realizing that there there there's a pretty hard cap on how much value we can actually get out of out of it. On odd turns roll a die. That's pretty good. On even turns roll a die feels worse. So so do we want a die every turn? Yeah, one power on enemies is not a big deal. I think Leyline Focus is the correct, the correct grab. And then the question is, right now I'm leaning towards, 
Wait, so Goring Blade already got upgraded? Oh yeah, I made it a five or a six, not an extra use. I think that was the right decision though. Cause when it was a when it was a when it was a seven countdown, that was not working for us. Gleaming exterior, I'm kind of liking the 2x block here. But let's let's spend the first one on on this and get men magic in. <laughs> 